We are at Cicero. Oh, I'm struggling here. I've never actually let him live. I've always taken him out. I think I have to find out what happens if I let him live. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how I feel in the moment. Welcome back. We got a lot to do today. I'm excited for this episode. If you remember where we left off, Cicero tried to kill Astrid. She's okay, but in the process, Bizarra got injured. Cicero ran away. Armbjorn chased after him. Yeah, Astrid asked us to chase him down. We went and looked through, through Cicero's room. We found his journals and realized he was running off to a place called the Dawnstar Sanctuary, which is why I've made my way to Dawnstar. We will be looking for Armbjorn. Hopefully we can find him. And then we've got to hunt down Cicero. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when we find Cicero. Are we going to have to fight him? Are we going to have to kill him? I don't know. Hang out with us. Let's find out. Uh, it should be right up here where we begin our adventure. That looks like Armbjorn. And he's injured. That's a lot of blood. Should have figured Astrid would send you. You you look like you're in a bad way. Uh, what gave it away? <laughs> blood? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. So, where is Cicero? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase. Let me head in there. I'll take care of him. You head home. You need to get better. All right. You convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're going to find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. That's a word I don't know. Fop. What is a fop? He said the little fop cut me good. Now I have to find out what that word means. A man who is concerned with his clothes and appearance in an affected in an affected and excessive way. Okay, so someone who cares about what they look like. That's what he thinks of Cicero. Interesting. Okay. Let's head in. Innocence, my brother. set of Cicero gear. Okay, silent movement. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. I need those. Better sneak. And better shopping. Let me see what your, what, what's better between what we just got and what we have on. So the boots are muffled move silently and what we're wearing is the same so that's fine the armor has no rating ours does prices are 12 percent better and one hand attacks do 12 percent more damage that's that's important too 50 percent resistance to poison i like the one-handed damage more uh jester's close double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons is really cool I like that one a lot, as opposed to backstab does double damage. Yeah, I I like this one better. I think double sneak attack damage with one-handed. Yeah, okay. 
And Jester's hat sneaking is 30% more effective. I don't... I don't actually wear the hat with this. No armor rating, though. Let's put him on. See how, how foolish we look at him. Oops. Oh, so dark I can't see myself. Let's turn on the light. Eh, still not great. Alright. It's pretty silly looking, but... The stats are pretty good. I don't know, I kind of like it. We st I think we stick with it at least for today. And then we see what happens. Yeah, I like it. Let's let's wear it. Pirate King of the mm, Abyssian. I think that says Abyssian. Oops. I have to pick that up. Grab all these books I don't have read yet. I'm not going to pick up all the ones I have read before. They're already in my library if I've read them. That door there. Is that just a, like a seam in the world? I think so. Oh, what are you? Gunmer of Skyrim. We got two books here that we haven't read. The Nords of Skyrim. Okay. Each of those gives me XP, but also I really like to fill up the the library inside of the museum. Ooh. That's a ghost like figure over there. What is going on with the ghost? Let's turn. I thought Smart Harvest was grabbing these. Skulls, apparently not. Speaking of Smart Harvest, um, I'm going to be doing a video. It's been requested that I do a video on how to install it. So look forward to that later this week. Um, I plan to, I plan to uh, make that video this weekend. <laughs> Blood of a Breton. Blood of a Dunmer. Interesting. So this guy still hasn't seen us. And I think our sneak, along with the muffled and the extra increased sneak on this armor, on top of our sneak skill here being... Oh yeah, I put, I put a point into smithing because I wanted to be able to... Incre increase my armor that has uh, my weapons and armor that have uh, enchants on them. I wasn't able to increase those. What were we looking at? So yeah, sneak. My sneak is really high. All of my stealth skills are pretty good. So that, on top of the fact that I have this good this good sneaking armor on, this guy might never see me. He probably won't. This one actually is a museum piece. Um, but why didn't it read? Can we not read that grimoire? Is that even a book? It looked like a book, didn't it? Oh, it looks like... Yeah, it's a book. But I can't read it. Interesting. I wonder where that goes. Does it go in the library? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I miss a... Did I step on a trap and not see it? This one got me just a bit. This guy has quite a bit on him. See how much I can steal from him before he catches me. Ah, there we go. We got quite a lot out of him, but... Oh, 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 oh. It obviously wasn't worth it, though, was it? All the way back to Dawnstar? Okay. Let me catch us back up real fast. Alright, we've made it back. This is the guy we pickpocketed. Um, and I have saved now, so... <laughs> uh, I think this is the downside to this armor, is that there's no armor rating, so... When I take a hit, it hurts. Um, but I don't think I've learned my lesson. At least, not fully. I don't need all of these, but... I'm at least going to take the Dragon Piercer arrows. Because they are something I need in the museum that I don't have yet. And that Elven Dagger is really nice. So are those elven arrows. Kind of nervous he's going to find me with those. He is. Um. Let's, uh... See if we can get out of dodge. Get our get them to not see us anymore. I don't know if I got those arrows. Yeah, okay, so I'm hidden again. Just perfect. I'm healing. Everybody's going back to their guarded positions. Perfect. Do you have anything else? I think we can live without the rest of this. Yeah, you can't loot those guys apparently. If you look on the wiki, it says you can, but I've never had any luck doing it. A trap there. More jester armor? Oh, this is more shrouded armor. Un unenchanted shrouded armor. Oh, perfect. So you can put whatever enchants you want on your own set of Dark Brotherhood armor. That's pretty nice. I like that. Just take a look here. That first one looked like it was worth a lot. That Balathi War Scythe. 10 pounds, 4,000. It's pretty, pretty good. I'm going to take that one because it, it just looks very, very expensive. I could probably get some good money out of that. Nice. A 
couple of, couple of skill increases. Oh, can I see this map? He just stood there and took it. Both of them did. Weirdos. Yeah, so this map isn't something I can actually grab. It doesn't appear. Yeah, for sure I can't search those guys. Hunting bow, iron sword, iron great sword. Nothing I want there. Oh, look at that. I kind of wanted that. Is that it? Oh, that's a glass sword, though, but I kind of wanted that elven sword. Dang it. Alright, so that pathway is blocked off. Yeah, we already looked at those. You're still alive! This is respects the listeners' abilities, of course, but could you at least slow down a bit? Not what I used to be. Ho, 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 ho! That guy came through a wall. That's not fair. There's two of these guys here. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this stealth, stealthily because one of even one of them really hurts. Let's check this room before we go further down the path, I think. Yeah, that door won't open. Wait, will it? What did that do? Oh, oh, okay. It brought these chains, the, these uh, spikes down so that I could come this way. Got it. Um, the Chris Chrysagrim. That is a cool looking sword, huh? Nice. I like it. Um, please let me out of that view. Thank you. How is there snow in here? Is there a hole to the... Ah, uh, yep. Got it. Does it matter? Hmm, the blood obviously goes that direction. But that makes me wonder what they're trying to right. so lead us away from. We've got a troll up here. But what's a fool to do when his mother is slandered and mocked? 
Surely the listener understands. Will I be able to take a troll out? I've got so much one-handed with sneak. I think I will. No. Oof. Okay. <laughs> that made me nervous for a split second because if he would have gotten a hit on me with no armor rating, I think that would have hurt a lot. That might have killed me one shot. Udef Rakite. That was a named troll. Huh, interesting. Makes me think there must be something more down here that I'm not seeing. Maybe something in this chest here. Scroll of fireball, fireball, three of the same scrolls. Okay, well. So that blood's from the troll. That's not our path. Uh, I'm pretty sure we go around and the path is going to bring us this way, but let's just be sh safe and make sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure it is. Okay. still feel like there's something more about that troll that I'm missing. Let me know in the comments if I missed something that that troll was important for. Or why, why would he have a name like that? I... Very dark. Turn on the light. I never trust that when I pull something, it's not going to also set off a trap of some kind. Okay, we got a couple of more, uh, sorry, a couple more, um, ghostly figures. Offens. Traveling mage gauntlets. Nah, no, I'll take them, see what they're... See if they're any good. That guy threw a spell at me that looked very scary. My, my sneak attack is very strong. But if I don't sneak attack, I take a lot of damage. Oh, there's two of them. I take a lot of damage and um, I don't do anywhere near as much. So really, the best way to fight my way through here is straight up stealth. But with these two close like this, the chances that that other guy doesn't see me are pretty slim. Of course, that made a liar out of me because he just completely ignored me.
Yeah, see, that's that's what worries me as they come running when they hear their uh, buddies and comrades when they hear them going down. He's alive, too. You did not successfully take any of them out. Well, he has to make his way back, and he's got no one with him. So there's a chance he doesn't make it, but... Oh! Oh, I thought I was going to be toast there. I didn't kill him with my backstab. Oh, master level chest. That might not be easy. Because I think my lock picking isn't as high as I'd like it. 42. That's one place I haven't put a lot of effort. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay. It's over here somewhere. Got it. Okay. Shield Lion Paint A. Ooh. That looks very nice. Yeah, very nice. Imperial Bow of the Soil. If the target is staggered, 15% chance to summon a spike of rock that flips the target into the air. Okay, why not? Lockpicks. Oh, Fieri Saber. Okay. Whoops, what did I grab on accident there? I don't know. Let's move forward. I think this is the right way. Or am I heading backwards? I think I'm heading the correct direction. No, this is the way we came. Yep. Which way is the right way? Oh, here we go. Here's the stairs. Got it. Found you. This must have been that door at the entrance that I couldn't get through. It said it was a uh, block. Yeah, that's back to where we started. Okay, good. I have Sithis. Detect life spell called I have Sithis. Oh, nice. That actually could come in handy at times to see where some bad guys might be hiding and you can't find them. I like it. Got our penance up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay. We are at Cicero. Oh, I'm struggling here. I've never actually let him live. I've always taken him out. I think I have to find out what happens if I let him live. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how I feel in the moment. 
just in case. Make sure we're prepared. You caught me. I surrender. prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked this trumpet bastard. I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Okay. I'm still contemplating this. Still contemplating it. I don't know. I'm going to keep him alive. I'm not going to put him out. I'm not going to take him out. I'm not. I'm going to let him live this, this time. Okay. Let's see if he's got more to say. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. All right. I'm going to I'm going to cut here for a second so I can get some nice screenshots. Be right back. Okay, I got a few. A few shots of Cicero laying there holding his stomach. Uh just in case. Let's make a quick save point here. And I think we head back and we just tell Astrid. Um yeah, we just tell Astrid he's dead. I've never actually seen what happens if I do this way. I, I honestly don't know what might happen here. This, this, uh, yeah, this could be fun. Let's find out. Let me know, have any of you ever let him live? Let him live? Um, that would be... Isn't it? It's funny to me how the story gives you two ways to do it. I almost always choose. Hi, Shadowmere. I almost always choose the uh, light side. The it's, it's not it's not Star Wars, but you get what I'm saying. The friendly side, the good side, the light side path. But what really is the good side path? Letting him live? Or taking him out? I've always taken him out, thinking that was the right thing to do for the story. Interesting. Maybe letting him live is the right thing to do. So when we did the uh, the tree quest um, a couple weeks ago, the Gilder Green, the Elder Green, and the Gilder Green. Oh, there's an enemy nearby. Just probably a stupid crab. Let's head in towards Dawnstar because that'll get rid of any enemy. Anyway, when I did that Elder Elder Gleam Gilder Gleam quest a couple weeks ago, someone told me in the comments that the way I went, bringing the sap back to. Um, the Debella, the, the, what was, what was it? Anyway, br bringing the sap from the tree back was actually the bad path and there was a better way to do it. I, I didn't even know there was a second way to do it. I just assumed that was the way. So, yeah, th that's, I love 
games like this where there's multiple ways. Sometimes they don't make them very obvious, though. I should be free of... Should be free of any bad guys by now. Okay. We're gonna have to lie? I don't know. Let's find out. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, he's he's gone. Totally, totally gone. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Back to... Oh, yeah, we were going to take out the Emperor. What's the next step in that? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. So, the next quest, the next episode really, has us meeting the Gourmet, as she just said. Which, I'm not going to give away the full story for those who haven't seen it, but it ends up that we end that we get a new alchemy ingredient which is probably my favorite alchemy ingredient in the game um so once we get that i will plant it in all the planters at my house make sure we get a ton of them and uh, then be able to make some really nice poisons from it so that that'll be next episode i don't want her to Kill tell me well. about herself and often um i don't know if we have anything else to turn in here i don't think we do oh report to festus let's uh put that in here ah you must be my little adventure on the ship it's the part with the severed head i find most impressive my compliments let that be a lesson to you, young pups. There is no challenge that magic cannot overcome. Uh, Festus, you got a moment? There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. She did. She did. Something about, uh, killing him and then becoming him? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You don't even know who the person I'm chasing down is? Great. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> But not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. Okay, so this Anton Varan? Does he know the Tell Gourmet's true identity? The I believe so. Contract. Therefore, well, you want to obtain that information from Varan. Who the well, Gourmet really is and where he that. can be found. Except oh, that and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Or your skill. Loose ends no and all that. When Next, you'll have to... Of treachery incarnate. Are you still and paying then, attention? Then, there's uh, no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage. 
so you could take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. You got any more info on the gourmet that can lead me to him? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. And <laughs> you've Still already taken care of him. Great. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Can you tell me a little bit about the cookbook? Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Okay. Uh, thanks, Festus. TMI. You're pretty sure the gourmet is here in Skyrim, though, right? Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> But you'll fix that. All right. Remember. So we need to find Anton. So he can lead us to the gourmet. Then, of course, take out Anton so that Keep. there aren't That's any witnesses that we're heading. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes. To kill them. Passing them off as his own. Stop talking. So that there's no witnesses remembering that we are headed to kill the gourmet. It's been quite a boon looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Okay. Um, for those of you who want to hang out while I head back to the museum and put some stuff away, thank you very much for those of you taking off right now. On your way out, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, really does help um, I will I will say that we have been blessed with views I mean just the amount of you who have watched our videos and left comments and really even the amount of time spent watching our videos we're hitting numbers that they're I mean three four times what my goals were when i started this channel for the year um subscribers i'm still above goal on where i meant to be but they're lagging behind the rest of it so take a moment hit that subscribe button for me if you want to come back and see another episode if you want to get an alert it, i mean if you made it this far in the video i hope i gave you something to get you this far in the video so you know, just hit the button. Alright. I am heading back to the museum. I am going to see what I have in my inventory. And get it put away. See where we're at for quantity of items now. I think the next museum quest is the one where the, uh, the guard ends up letting someone in to steal from us. I won't go too much deeper than that. And I think that happens at 500 items? I don't remember exactly. We are sitting at 378. Maybe it's at 400. I don't even know. I don't remember. 
Let's head in here. Put away anything we found. We got, oh yeah, we got some leftover ghosts from the night at the museum quest. Yes? What hey. is it? Go back to the guild hall. So we got six more items. Nice. Uh, what? Just top? Get Fine out of day. the is way. Do you have a question? <clears throat> uh, nope. Looks like you have nothing Farewell. for me right now. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna clean up my inventory. Oh, there's a new quest here. Orange notes on the Shalador stone. Nice. Did we miss any others? Yep, there's one here. So... Dragonborn mail, Shalador stone. Two new, two new uh, quests to find items for the museum. I won't be doing those anytime soon. I'd like to continue on the Dark Brotherhood for now. Oh yeah, we did find the Shrine of Magnus, so we actually have something out here now. And the Shrine of Hercene. Looks. Oh wait, what's this one? I can actually harvest that. Ah, that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in the next one.